Yeah, so here is a few of some of these cars I gotta deal with here. Like stuff like this here. Man, don't they, don't they do no man, this is really dangerous to be doing stuff like this. As as if somebody was walking behind me or under me or something and something was to slip off, bam. Got you a whole big old accident right there, man. So now I gotta watch it out with other people, cars here, and everything else. <coughs> and I have to drive on the road for everything. Right there. So now I gotta try to find me a car that has some wheels on it. That way I can put the wheels up behind my crusher and stabilize my crusher a little bit more. Cause a lot of these cars, man, I'm gonna have to end up hitting really hard just to get the doors to push in because some of these cars are gonna have so much stuff in them, man. Damn. Man, that's gonna be really, really hard for me to do, man. And like I say, all these bumps and stuff, which I'm finna, which I'm finna create ruts and everything else, which I'm finna create, start creating, man, it's gonna put so much stress on my loader. Man. I'm gonna have to back in and grab these here. That's the only way because I ain't got no room to turn around up off in there at all, period. No room. Customer cars that he fix on too. He actually does mechanic work too, also. So you know, I guess the scrapping will be a part time, and then the mechanic will actually probably be the full time for him. But he's a pretty cool guy, man. He's a pretty cool guy, man. You know, he buys his lunch and stuff like that sometimes. You know what I mean? Right now, I'm just going to be grabbing some cars for right now. Ain't going to be too much crushing right here this morning here. I'm trying to grab a whole load. That way, that way I can have cars already over here. So I can just drain and crush, drain and crush and make heavy stacks. That's all that's going to happen today. It's just heavy stacks are getting made today. That's all it's going to be. I don't think I'm going to have any any of the uh, lightweight stacks. Yeah, as you see, yesterday I made some other, I made some other videos and stuff like that, but I'm waiting to actually post them before I actually make that, uh, before I actually make that move. Some editing stuff I have to do a little bit of. But you know, I mean, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know, I mean, shit. You know, I can admit, man, I don't, you know, I don't, I know I don't make the best videos, but you know, I mean, the only person, the only thing I person can do is try. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, man, I'm more of a, I'm more of a, Action person, you know what I'm saying? I just like to make shit happen. 
I just got the person I am. I just like to make things happen. So I already know two of these trucks right here is finna be heavy. Hey, there is no doubt about that, man. I got rims, or not rims, I got K frames. K frames in this truck, uh, torque converters, uh, regular rims, steel bumpers. You know, so I got a little bit of everything in these cars, man. It's like the white, uh, it's like the white truck I picked up earlier. It's full of stuff, man. I mean, it's just full of, full of stuff, man. And I'm finna end up getting to the probably some of the bigger, heavier stuff once I start getting back there to the back of this place. I start getting like the second and third load back there somewhere. You know, so I mean it, it is what it is, man. I mean this being over here at this spot here, man, is you might well consider this uh, a slow pace. I wouldn't say a slow pace, but you know, uh, uh a medium pace run here because I won't be able to go too fast or be able to, you know what I'm saying, or be able to speed like I really want to because of the ground. And you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to avoid for, you know, snapping the drive shaft or, you know what I'm saying, or getting a blowout somewhere, you know what I'm saying. So, you know, uh, you know, I got to kind of, you know, pace myself and, you know, and, and try not to you know, mess up anything, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'll be trying to do there. You know, I, I'm the type, man, I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying, don't don't like flash, don't want no flash because they hold me up. I don't like being held up. I like getting stuff done. Like you say, making stuff like that happen, man. I just like making it happen. <clears throat> no, but... I can say it, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. So yeah, man. Yesterday, after I got done being over there with with uh, what we call Brazilians, because they're Brazilian guys, they're from Brazil. So after I got done with that, so my boss man asked me like, "Hey, can you go down to the yard and, and uh, go and you know say go crush some more cars?" I was like, "Okay, but well, which load is there?" It should be one of the good loaders and and the big loader. Okay, so I get over there to the yard. I get over there to the yard. I see, I see our shitty loader. It's the reason why it stays at the yard because it's very shitty. No, no front window, no AC, no heat. You know what I'm saying? It wobbles. It wobbles so much, it feel like it feel like the damn load is about to fall apart on you. You know what I'm saying? It takes forever for the boom to lift up. It doesn't have no power whatsoever to even lift up a stack that's sitting on top of the, of the first stack. It has no power. And he expect for me to crush with that thing. And he was like, well, somebody else is on the other loader, so we're gonna have to use that one though load up this truck. Okay, that's cool. Not a problem with that. Let's load it up then. So, you know, as we, uh, as we, you know, as I'm, you know, doing my thing, whatever, you know what I'm saying, making stuff happen, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. You know? Golly, man, this dude stuff, this stuff is so much stuff. You want the alternators and the starters on the back?
No problem. Now I got this suburban over here now. No frame. But look at it. That's trash all up in that damn thing, man. Jesus. Then 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 some of these guys wonder why I can only put I can only put you know several cars together, you know what I'm saying? And they were like, man, but why you only put like 12 cars on the load? Okay, man, you got so much trash in these cars, dude, that if I put 12 cars, 12 cars full of trash from top to bottom, bottom to top. You know what I'm saying? You got trucks and suburbans the same way. I can only put 12 because it's going to be an 80,000 pound load or more just because of all the trash and all the metal that's off in there. I mean, if you look right here in the front, and you, I know you can't really see it, but if you look right there in the front window, there's already 10,000 nuts and bolts already there. Just sitting right there. You know what I'm saying? So I could just imagine what the floor of the car looks like. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying, then what makes it even worse, me being in this field, and then I have to drive slowly, you know what I'm saying, just to, just to get the cars, you know what I'm saying, just to get the cars through the field, that way, that, that way I'm not bouncing all the way up all over the place, and the car just bouncing on the forks, throwing everything out the window. You know what I'm saying, all the nuts and bolts and everything, and that's all I need, just for some big ass boat to get up in my damn retire. That's all I need right there. And I ain't even trying to, I'm not even trying to even go down that route at all, period. I, I man, I just like to say, man, I'm the type, man, I wanna, I wanna crush and go, crush and go. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's just me. You know, but everybody, Everybody have things different on how they want to crush or how they want to, you know what I'm saying? Well, not crush, but you know how they do other things and stuff, how some people are. You know, some people like to stay in one spot. You know, some you know some of the other guys, they like to move around. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I, I like to move around. I mean, I don't mind being in the same spot. I mean, I don't mind it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know... You know, uh, uh, you know, I, I do like to move around and, and crush new things because after a period of time, after a period of time, you get tired of, of seeing the same old stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hold on one sec. I got to close this truck bed right quick. Make sure you okay. up right at all. Right back open. Right back open. Padre! You get a chance. I got it one bucket back here in the back. Bucket. Look. You know what? You put it on the inside so it's no fall out.
Yeah, man, because sometimes, man, they be all kind of stuff in these cars and stuff. You know, some of this stuff that some of these guys be throwing away, they don't really want sometimes. They don't look all the way through. They just leave the bucket back there or whatever, and then it be some good stuff off in there. We end up finding it. the mini crowbar <clears throat> sitting on the ground so now I gotta kind of watch out because I didn't had a crowbar go through my tire once before and I can't say that I was too happy about it I mean it wasn't my fault that it happened you know, I mean, me and the truck driver, he, you know, my boss, he was there too at the same time when it happened because it, 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 it missed his tire. It missed his tire by a couple, of, a couple of millimeters and then bam, caught my tire on the load. As a matter of fact, went all the way through two different ways. So yeah, man, I, I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the flex at all. But I am a big fan of making heavy ass bundles. Which I might have to probably start calling those bundles, man, the G Money bundle, man, because that's all it what it is. It's money bundles, man. That's all it is. So today my goal is to try to make me a heavy one today. I don't know how heavy I'm gonna make it. Uh, but I want me a heavy one today. I want me a real heavy one. I don't know how heavy I'm gonna get it, but I'm gonna get it heavy. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Still got a lot of cars to pull. This is this first load. See, then there's a crater that I have to go through, a ditch which I made which I had to make in order to get myself through there. You know what I'm saying? And you know, the more, the more I run in that ditch, the more I run in the ditch, man, the deeper it gets. I mean, I done made it so deep now to where my loader drops down pretty far before it actually goes back up. You know, and most of the time I try to keep it in third gear or something like that. Well, most of the time I keep it automatically that way it change itself up without me have to without me have to change the uh gears you know changing gears with my shifter or whatever i don't have to worry about doing that because they do it by itself automatically and that's one thing i do like about my loader too it'll do its own self automatically i really don't have to really too much worry about other stuff behind it you know what i mean Damn, nice truck, nice truck bed, but too bad it's, it's about to get destroyed with me. That's exactly what's going to happen. The last ride, this is basically what it is. When you come and see me, then we already know, we already know what time it's gonna be, and what time it is. Me and these cars, ain't no such thing as life after death with the cars. Popping human beings, yes, but in cars, no. Uh -huh. Man, just look how that baby just hanging. Man. Man, 
yeah, like I said, it's nice. That's a nice little old truck bed, but you know, takes a skilled person to actually put that, you know, take it apart and put it all back together with new fresh pieces. from last time. Wow, that's crazy. videos sometime here in about another 20 minutes or so I get back at y'all